Hi guys, welcome to Share Slice of Life. I am coming to you with a really quick video. I'm in the car, I'm getting ready to run a couple of errands. And I wanted to come to you about Prince. The artist formerly known as Prince or Prince Rogers Nelson. And you know, everyone knows, if you don't know, then you haven't really watched all my videos. Because Prince was my favorite artist. He was my favorite artist, and I wanted to come on here because yesterday I had heard some news that they may be doing an, an investigation and filing criminal charges for his death. But they have decided not to, according to CNN. Here's what I say about that. I'm fine with that. You know why? Because... We need to just move past his death. It makes me think that if we go through a trial, it's just going to be things that are drug up that don't need to be drug up. You know, there'll be things that... And I'm just going to make it the comparison. And I know that a lot of people are Michael Jackson fans. And some people that are Prince fans are also Michael Jackson fans. And so I am aware of that. But it's just going to be that instance. And the pain and agony that it put his family through. I'm talking about the Jacksons. I don't want that pain and agony. Now, I'm not sure if his sister Tika... Um, that's Prince's sister, was pursuing this, or was this the prosecutor in the case? I don't know, but here's what I'm going to say about this whole thing. They, you know, determined that the he died of an, uh, an overdose of a kind of fit Vicodin drug, which was laced with the fentanyl. Fentanyl... If I'm not mistaken, it's the same drug that Michael Jackson had been administered, but just in a high quantity. Fentanyl is a very potent drug. Now, I say all this to say, let's just enjoy their music. Let's enjoy their legacy. We all are human beings, and we all have issues. If you think that your star doesn't have their own demons and what I call thorn insides that they struggle with, then then we're just living in a fairy tale world. And I am not saying that Prince had any type of addiction. I am saying that he was in pain. And I am saying that he sought out medication to assist him with the pain. And so when you're thinking you're taking a prescription drug and instead you're getting a street drug that has been a street drug mixture of prescription and prescription that's even amplified the intensity of the strength, then it's just not safe. And so I just want to call out to everyone Let's concentrate on educating people because prescriptions can be addictive too. Let's concentrate on educating people on their prescription drugs and the correct medications. And I know that th this is also dealing with, he was in a lot of pain. And those were from the years of jumping off of like five inch speakers. I mean, excuse me, five feet speakers, jumping off of stages, you know, dancing in five-inch heels. But then again, we were right there watching those concerts and right there cheering him on and right there expecting that spectacular show and expecting him to be A1 every day, hitting that mark. So, we as fans... We did the same thing to Michael Jackson. We did the same thing to other other artists. We expect so much. And just like with our own daily lives, when stress, the lives of stress come to us, 
we can go into our own little rooms and if we decide we're not going to turn this camera on or if we decide we're not going out the door that's okay but when I start just like for example when Nicki Minaj I'm getting off the subject but I'm trying to bring it around to y'all I'm trying to bring it around um just like when Nicki Minaj was like out of sight you guys were like seriously putting the APB out on that and she needed that time like and as you see she's coming forth telling us a lot of stories that young lady was deeply hurt like because we forget they're people they're people just like us if you cut them they bleed just like us because they're made they're men and women just like us so I'm telling you I'm glad they're not going to prosecute and p pursue a trial. I don't want to see a trial. I want to enjoy his music. I want to pay for his music. I want to download his music and pay for it so that his family will continue to get the royalties off of it. And I want to continue to enjoy Prince the way Prince was, which was a musical genius. Okay? And so I went back all around. I took it around the go round just to say that he was human. And if he did take um, any extra, like, pursued any extra prescription drugs, he was in pain. And because of his religion, he did not believe in blood-to-blood uh, -blood transfusions because he was a Jehovah's Witness. And don't ask me about that. Don't ask me about that. Me as a Christian and him as a Jehovah's how I feel about that. I'm not going to answer the questions because you know what? Only God knows. And I'm not answering those questions. So if you ask me, you know, a lot of people will come to me and say, you know, Prince was a Jehovah's Witness. And you are a Christian. And you two are not of the same beliefs, religious beliefs. And I will tell them, yes, we. that's, that's true. But you know what? I'm not going to question, I'm not going to question this guy. I'm not, I just know who I believe in, and that's Jesus Christ. And, uh, so, yeah. And I'm going to tell you guys that we just need to move on from it. I mean, I think everybody wanted the sensationalism of a trial like Michael Jackson. But will that bring Prince back? No. I know his sister cries just like Janet. My brothers are not even stars, and if they weren't alive, I don't know what I would do. I fuss with them, but if I couldn't call them up, I don't even know. So, we just got to leave it alone. Let the rest rest. Okay? And remember... I may not know who you are, but I know someone who does, and they're concerned about you. And if you are struggling with any type of addiction, and that could be any addiction, because sometimes we want to get so strong on the drug addiction or the pill addiction, but you know there's addiction to food. That's called gluttony, and you overeat. There's addiction to foods. There's addiction to a person that's unhealthy. There's addictions to eating um, the wrong things. Like there are certain people that don't eat. They're called foods that are no nutritional value. So those, those are addictions as well. There's addictions to um, gambling addictions there are people that are kleptomaniacs they're addicted to stealing like they get a rush out of stealing and um, so there's so many addictions in this world so if you do have an addiction just just like like I say work on your own backyard and work on your own yard and, and work on your own addiction because remember when and this is biblical when the the scribes and Pharisees brought the woman to Jesus and they wanted him to stone the woman and everybody was like, Yeah, she you know, she was found in the act of adultery. He was like, Okay, alright. Well, 
And they had big old stones, too. They weren't playing. They was ready to kill that woman. And um, he said, okay. Well, he who was, who was without sin cast the first stone. And then they all was like, hold up. They dropped their little stones. and Some of them had boulders. They dropped them boulders and they booked up. And then he went to her and he said, go and sin no more. And that's when I know my Jesus to say. Maybe this is an example for the authorities and the example for the drug companies and the clinics and the doctors to look closer to the addiction of the opiates, okay? But that's all I got for y'all. Love you. Make it a great day.